On Monday, me and Adam went to the Houses of Parliament in Westminster, London to attend a debate. The debate was organised by Bite the Ballot and it was about why young people are being misrepresented in the media. And it was a great debate to be a part of. We spoke to lots of people there and this is the video that we produced. Sometimes young people can get a rough ride in the media. During the riots in the UK in 2011, a large portion of the press and broadcasters jumped to dismiss young people as a whole as feral animals. It wasn't until after the event that many journalists began to ask about poverty, anger with the police and young people feeling alienated from the society they're living in. They are extremely violent. I mean, got pushed over, got my phone taken away from me. It's that sort of treatment that led Bite the Ballot and the Youth Media Agency to bring a group of young people, media experts and Lib Dem MP John Leach to the Houses of Parliament for a debate to try and improve the relationship. I'm from an area called Hackney and I got into Cambridge University and decided to study at LSE rather than Cambridge. I also do music as well, I do spoken word and rap with the aim of uplifting and inspiring young people. Um, and the media happened to catch wind of the story of me rejecting Cambridge to go LSE. I um, mean, it was published in like publications like The Sun as Gangster Rapper Declines Cambridge. The British media is white, it is middle-aged, and it is middle class. The way we see ethnic minorities and the socially deprived, the financially deprived, um, has been created by mainstream media because they are not in touch with the marginalised. The press has always been of the people to a large extent. If you don't like what we write, you don't buy us, it's as simple as that. And it's not as if you can insult the reader's intelligence. You're intelligent people, you know what's in the day. You know what's in the sun, you know what's in I, you know what's online. We caught up with some of the panel and the audience after the event. Young people aren't represented at all. There aren't any young people in newsrooms, mainly because it's difficult to break into that industry. And to some extent, that there isn't a relationship between mainstream media and young people. The mainstream press doesn't even... Um doesn't, it doesn't have enough coverage of young people and the positive things that they're doing anyway. So therefore, whatever they do see in there is the only actual contact they get with young people. They're not really out there. I think it's a two-way system. I think young people have a very negative view of the press and the press have a ne very negative view of young people. And I think it's, a lot of, it's going to take a lot of time and effort to address issues like that. Yeah. The problem is, is we have to kind of know other organisations to know what's actually going on. So, I mean, if it wasn't involved um, with Just the Kids Law, we wouldn't be here um, at this moment in time. Youth media outlets and um, other blogs, you know, they, social networking, they need to utilise all those tools and actually don't, you know, it's very separated like amongst the, the youth media agencies and I think they all need to come together and like, you know, make an impact. I think, I think the solution will be to, to, for the mainstream newspaper to be more factual yeah. with their work, yeah. And second of all, for young people to build their own organisations and their own newspapers that reflect us. We're in a very exciting time in regards to technology. Um, there's a lot of autonomy um, with the internet, so whether you're blogging, um, writing your own social commentary pieces, um, vlogging, etc. Just challenge the things that you find problematic, speak about things that pertain to you and you know, incite authorities to action. So do let us know what you think about the, the way young people are represented in the media and if you're interested in any of the topics thrown up in this video, we're having a live debate this Thursday at 7pm. So make sure you subscribe to check that out. If you are watching after that day, you should subscribe anyway because we do live debates every Thursday at 7pm GMT. We'll see you again next time. This is our role in the revolution. Other people are throwing stones. This for us is, is the role that we find as important.